Hey guys, this is Kristen from KristenCoaching.com. Thank you so much for seeing me for this video today. The topic of this video has to do with husband and wife sex, specifically if you guys are having sex enough in your relationship. Now obviously if you're not married, this video can absolutely apply to you. Any type of a relationship where you are having physical intimacy, including sex, uh, this will absolutely be relevant. I wanted to do this video today in the first place because I think a lot of couples really question, you know, are we doing it enough in our relationship? Um, sometimes, you know, stereotypically, you know, the man might want to have sex more often than the woman does or even vice versa. That happens. And, you know, I think a lot of couples really have a hard time figuring out a, you know, if, if their specific type of relationship is normal in terms of doing it a certain amount of times per week or per month or whatever, um, maybe even per day. Um, but then there's also another piece about, you know, what happens when somebody wants sex more than the other one. And I think a lot of couples can really get caught up into, you know, possibly comparing themselves to other people. You know, we hear stories about what our friends do and things like that. And we, we have to sometimes feel that we need to step up our game because we're not doing it enough. Also, you know, especially with women, you know, if we feel that we're not having enough sex, um, and even men as well, you know, it can create a lot of almost insecurities within the relationship. You know, you might be thinking like, what's wrong with our relationship? What's wrong with me where I feel like my, my partner doesn't want to be with me physically? Um, so it can bring up a lot of insecurities and doubts and all those things. So we want to talk about like what really is normal um, when it comes to a healthy relationship in terms of sex. Um, I hate to say this, but I am going to say it because it's the truth. Um, there really isn't a normal. I mean, there really, really isn't. It has to be what is right for you guys as a relationship. And if you guys are like on two different spectrums, you know, if, if one person wants to do it every day and the other person, you know, wants to do it once a month, I am a huge advocate about figuring out a way to compromise and meeting in the middle when it comes to, you know, sexual interactions. It's important to remember that you have to, like I said before, you have to not compare yourself to other people. You have to do something that is healthy and normal and feels good for your guys' relationship because you two are the only people that are in it, nobody else. And relationships are all about compromise. So you have to figure out a way that both people are going to be happy in terms of, um, you know, maybe consistency and frequency and how much you guys do it. Um, I also want to remind you that, you know, when it comes to sex, you know, there's many ways to do it. It doesn't necessarily have to be intercourse. A lot of couples love to do oral. A lot of couples love to do intimate things that aren't even necessarily oral or intercourse. There's other things that you can do. So, you know, if you guys are really coming on, you know, opposite ends of the spectrum and you're having trouble getting to the middle, maybe you guys can incorporate other things in there in terms of other ways to be intimate where one person will be happy with that or satisfied. Um, so there's just, you have to be able to compromise. You have to be able to negotiate. And more importantly, you really have to be able to be comfortable talking about this topic. I think it's really hard for a lot of couples to be open and vulnerable when discussing sex because it's a really personal thing for a lot of people. Also, it's very cultural, you know, depending on the type of household that maybe you grew up in, maybe sex was taboo and it wasn't um, supposed to be talked about in any way. So it can be really hard being adult, an adult and being in an intimate relationship and actually having this conversation of sex and how important it is for you or how unimportant and how often you guys want to be doing it. You know, I hope that you guys can get on the same page, and I really believe that you can. Even if you don't agree on frequency, you can agree on other ways to make you guys both happy in the relationship and figure out how to make your partner happy, and your partner has to figure out how to make you happy, and that's really important. I think in any type of a relationship, there's a give and take. So there's times where your needs are going to be met and your partner's going to make sure that those are fulfilled. And then there's times where your partner's needs are going to be met and you're making sure that your partner is fulfilled. And not always, you know, 24 seven, can we have our exact needs always at the same time, right? But that's why there's a give and take. There's a, there's a give and a take. There's a reciprocity that happens naturally within a relationship. So I think you have to just think about the fact, you know, are you getting your needs met? Fairly, fairly consistently throughout the relationship.
And the answer, if the answer is yes, I think you guys are absolutely on the right track to go for that. More importantly, when it comes to husband and wife sex or relationship sex in general, have fun and enjoy yourselves. And really, you know, there can be a lot of tension and sometimes negativity that comes up when you guys are discussing sex and especially things that maybe you're not satisfied with. But you have to remember to have fun and enjoy yourselves and remind each other why you guys are together in the first place and why you guys are attracted to each other in the first place. You know, sex should be enjoyable. It should be, you know, event hopefully relaxing uh, when you guys are done and being able to have that sense of satisfaction. So enjoy yourself. Um, enjoy these conversations with your partner. Enjoy talking about it. Feel free to be open and honest. And, you know, the more open and honest you are, the more satisfied you are going to be. And just figure out a way that you guys can talk together where both of you come up to um, an agreement that both of you are happy. At the end of the day, it's about negotiation and it's about compromise. And I'm really confident that you guys can get there. It just takes communication and some effort on both of your parts. So good luck on the endeavor, and I hope it goes well. Let me know how it goes for you. Feel free to ask me any questions or comment below, and I'll be happy to get back to you regarding this topic. And you guys take care, and I'll see you next time.